Hello and welcome back to Crazy Rove Studio. I hope you all are safe and healthy. In this video, we will look at upgrading Networker from version 18.2 to 19.4 on a Windows server. <laughs> of Networker on Windows is actually very simple, much simpler than how we are doing the upgrade on Linux system. But first let's take a quick look at the prerequisites that we would have to take care of before the upgrade. To upgrade Networker from uh, version 19.4, uh, the server's current version should be at least 8.2. So we have the compatibility, compatible upgrade versions, which is 8.2, which is the most, uh, which is the least. Uh, we can also upgrade uh, the server from 19.0, uh, 9.0, 9.1, 9.2, or 18.2. So now in this particular demo, we will be upgrading from 18.2 on a supported 19.x version, uh, that is uh, 19.4, and the operating that system that we have is Windows 2000. 16. You can check check the compatibility of uh, your network server before you do the upgrade. You can check the other video where I talk about the tool which helps you to check uh, the different compatibility information for networker. The minimum version for DDoS is 5.7 so anything under 5.7 will not be able to integrate with your network server when it upgrades to 19.4 so this is one of the prerequisites and you would need to upgrade your ddos to 5.7 or above before you upgrade your network server next and most important is checking the compatibility of all the components that networker is integrated with which is your storage node client agents modules vproxies vcenter or any other components that you have there are, uh, these are the least uh, prerequisites depending on the feature that you are currently using and it is best to check the impact of the upgrade by referring to the upgrade document. Now again, the upgrade document is also, uh, can also be generated from using uh, the solve web tool. Uh, again, there is another video I have explaining the use of solve. Uh, please check the description for the link to that video. So there are a few recommended actions before the upgrade activity. So these are on your screen right now. These are not mandatory, but it helps you know if there are any issues with networker. And if in case there are, you could take additional steps to fix these issues before you actually go ahead with the upgrade. So these are basically, you know, checking the consistency of your uh, networker database states by running the IAM, NSRCKM, which is uh, checking your media database and NSRCK-L6, which is checking your index files. You can also record the location of your networker client files so that if in case anything goes wrong, you know where to look at. Then you could also take uh, run NSR ports to note down the existing ports that you have used in case you're using any custom ports. Uh, and not the default ports. It, it is going to be very important. And last but not the least, it's always a good practice to take a backup of your networker um, server, that is the backup of your bootstrap, as well as the client file indexes. Now we know what is required to, be pre to prepare for the upgrade. Let's go ahead and uh, look at a quick demo. Uh, one of the steps that might not be present here, but which is pretty obvious, is to download the latest version of Networker. And also, uh, the best option, uh, the best practice is always to install the NRE on your Networker server, so that uh, there is a compatible version of Java available on your Networker server. So this is my Networker server. And uh, if you can see the version of network, uh, the operating system on the Windows operating system is 2016 and the networker version is 18.2. So I have already downloaded the package for 19.4 and uh, before you start the upgrade, make sure that there are no backups running. One of the things that you could do is stop any activities so for this you can go to the server properties but make sure that you have the diagnostic mode enabled and once you're on the properties of the network server and you do not want any of the backups running uh, you can directly go into security and make these options as no so that no new backups are triggered and uh, you can wait for the existing ones to complete and soon as they complete you can go ahead and start the upgrade process 
Now there might be questions around what exactly should you start first if it's the storage node upgrade or the network server upgrade. Uh, I always use NSR push to upgrade the components of uh, networker. So the path that I, that I usually take is that I upgrade the networker storage node first. If in case you have uh, you're on versions like 18.2 because 18.2 supports the uh, the push for 19.4 as well. Or you could also do the upgrade even after you do the network server upgrade, which is perfectly fine. There is no issues with it. So before I continue, what I would like to do is I would like to stop network server. So now I don't have any backups running or any any activity running for that matter on my network server. So let me go ahead and stop network. Say yes. So I am already having the latest version of NRE, which is 808 at this particular point, which is uh, June 2021. All right, I have my network services shut down. So let's go ahead and upgrade the network server. So the uh, general practice I usually follow is on Windows is to upgrade it directly. Uh, I think I follow the same on Linux as well, wherein I do not uninstall the networker first and then install the next version. I always install uh, or uh, opt to upgrade it in place. So this is what I'm going to do here as well. So I'm going to run this as an administrator. I agree to the licensing uh, terms. Do not configure Windows Firewall. And here you will see that this is pre-selected because those are the components that it found on a net, uh, on the server. So let's say OK to this license as well. This is about uh, authentication service. Here let's give the existing key store password for the authc database. And then go next. Uh, this is again information. Uh, this part is this part of the wizard is for upgrading uh, uh, NMC. Uh, just check if everything is okay. But regularly during an upgrade, this is not an issue because all the information is still there. Uh, this is about uh, your certificate for the uh, NMC URL. So we'll just leave it as is and allow it to create a new certificate. Uh, these are NMC details again regarding the database for the NMC. Uh, it has found, uh, an, so this page just states that it has found an existing uh, NMC database, which is the case because it was already there. So I'm just going to keep the database as is and then click on upgrade. So this will take a few minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and come back to you once the upgrade is completed. All right, so now you see that the network server is upgraded successfully. Let's click on finish. And if we go back and check the version again, refresh the page here, and you will see that it is 19.4. Let's go ahead and launch the NMC and click on connect. So you can put in the login name and uh, username and password and click on login, launch the application and one of the first things you have to do is go and enable your uh, enable the sessions for backups and restore so we click on diagnostic mode go to properties and then go to security and make this yes and you see that it's on 19.4 all the information is intact. So this is the backup that was done. The devices are all online. And that's about it. Now you can run a few test backups and restores and confirm uh, for the evidence of your change request for the upgrade. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below, or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.